Well, uh, Invest 98L, and now, according to the National Hurricane Center, has a 100% chance of development in the next 48 hours. I have never seen that issued by the NHC since a long, in a, like, I have never seen this before. Like, like, wow. Like, this is just my reaction right now. Wow. Like, normally it would go up to 90%, then they would designate this a, tro a tropical depression. Now, this is, now you're seeing this before you like I am. This now has a 100% chance of development. So this thing is going to develop. It's pretty much certain at this point. But let's go ahead and read the 2 p.m. advisory issued by the NHC. Showers and thunderstorms remain well organized in association with a tropical wave located several hundred miles southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands. In addition, recent satellite wind data indicates that the center of circulation is gradually becoming better defined. I can confirm this through satellite data right here. The center of circulation, you'll see it. Yeah, it's about right here. It's about right here. It's getting better. It's improving every hour. So, yeah, uh, so yeah, in a, uh, so, yeah, if these trends continue, which they are likely to continue, a tropical depression could form as soon as this afternoon or this evening. That is, that is new news. Like they were saying before, oh, this is going to form maybe on Thursday or Friday. Then it was like, okay, maybe this is things getting a little organized more quicker than we thought it would. Maybe it's or gonna happen. Maybe today, uh, uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, or the next day or two. And now they're expecting this to de uh, develop into a, into a depression. Like until, like basically, they're expecting this to form into a depression. Like today, like in the next few hours. Now, this is now this is a pretty big develop development, and uh, it, it's going to a pretty big development. Like. Like they were saying, oh, this is probably going to form uh, tomorrow or next or in a couple of days. Now they're saying that a tropical depression could form as soon as this afternoon or evening, which is, which isn't necessarily that surprising. I was seeing the trends. I was seeing how quickly it was organizing. It was rapidly organizing. It's going to, after it or, it pretty much organized itself after it st starts strengthening. It's gonna probably undergo a pretty robust intensification stuff uh, uh, right here. I'm remember, just keep in mind what I'm saying is my own observations. There's a reason I have disclaimers on this. Like I have a disclaimer on it because I know I can be wrong. But if these trends continue, like we could see a tropical depression this afternoon. We could see a tropical storm, like by the by the end of the night. At this rate, this system should um, uh, move westward at 10 to 15 miles per hour across the eastern and central tropical Atlantic Ocean. Chance of formation through the next 48 hours, near a hundred percent. Chance of formation through the next five days, near 100 percent. I have never, like, I have never seen chances so high this year for an invest. Normally, chances would go up to 90% in five days, and then develop. Like, well, not not develop. They're officially designated a depression by the NHC. But this has a 100% chance of development. Like, that really tells you something. Like, when I when I first saw this, I was pretty surprised by this. But anyway, so the latest intensity, sorry, the latest track models are in. It looks like if these models uh, seven days out are, be to cor are to be correct, then it's going to miss the leeward uh, the leeward islands, the Lesser Antilles. Thank goodness if that happens. But keep in mind these are models that are a week out, and the NHC hasn't issued cones on any of this yet. If, and, that, and unfortunately, without the cone, I can't really cross check this. So I'm ta uh, take these models with a grain of salt, but yeah, for the next 24 hours, it's going to move west and it's going to start to turn towards the west northwest. But if it continues that trend and misses the Lesser Antilles entirely, 
Thank goodness. And I'll explain why in a second. So the models are still, the models like, the majority of the models now have this going as a tropical storm in the next 12 hours. That's a pretty big shift. Wow. And some of these models have it really robustly intensifying into a hurricane. Like, like only a couple of models have this uh, at a tropical storm at this point. The rest of them have it strengthening to a, at least a hurricane. Some going up to Cat 2. There's one model, the HWFI, that has it going all the way to Cat 3. So nothing's off the table, essentially. That's what I'm getting from these models. Nothing is off the table. But... Yeah, that's pretty incredible how this now has a 100% chance of development. And it looks, this looks really good on satellite too. Like, I'm not going to lie, this looks really good on satellite. I can see that at the center of circulation, there's better storms developing. There's a minus 70 pocket right there. But yeah, this could be a tropical depression in the next two hours at the time of recording. This could be designated as such. It looks like a tropical depression. Now, conversely, they could wait a little bit and bef before they jump the gun to that. They could wait because uh, wait and wait and see for this thing to develop. Then I see, and that and then at the 10 p.m. advice at the 10 p.m. Central Advisory, 11 p.m. Eastern Advisory, they could issue this as a depression. My guess. And I'm my guess is that what like I'm not gonna guess when it's okay. Something's wrong with that tool. Yeah, my guess is that in the next six hours, this is gonna be a uh, the six to tw uh, twelve hours. Uh, this is gonna be a tropical depression. What will decide the strength of this is basically what happens in the next six hours. That's what will essentially decide this. Now. Let's start now to finish the video. Let's get, let's start with the takeaways. I want you guys to give. I want to give you guys first takeaway. This has a 100% chance of development. You can't get any higher than that. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Well, fortunately, you can't get any higher than that. That's unfortunate. Second, uh, the models are pretty consistent. Four days out of it. Starting its west northwest uh, track, and then if this tr if this trajectory continues, it would miss the uh, the Lesser Antilles entirely, which by the time uh, and this is going to tie into the next takeaway, by the time this happens, this could be a uh, a, a pretty powerful hurricane, and thank goodness if it if it misses like that. So third uh, third uh, takeaway is that model. Almost all the models have this going up to hurricane, stre uh, hurricane strength. All the models have it going up. Uh, this thing's going to at least be a tropical storm, if not a cap, uh, at least a Cat One hurricane. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be a hurricane. Anything can happen. Like, by, but with, if these but models hold for now, we could see a, a hurricane pretty qu uh, in the next couple of days. Final takeaway, and you know, let's hope this works this time. This system is really okay. Never mind. Okay, this system is really organizing. There's the center of circulation. That's where the center of circulation appears to be. And there's the conducive and convective activity around it. So this thing's organizing pretty quickly. I wouldn't be surprised if they designate this a, trop uh, a tropical depression in the next couple of hours. I can tell you for it's it's likely going to happen at the 5 p.m. advisory. It's almost but it's almost certainly going to happen at the 10 p.m. advisory. But take what I, but take what I say with that with a grain of salt. I could be wrong on this. This could maybe need a little more time to organize a little a little bit more. Just take what I uh, said just said with a grain of salt. So yeah. That's pretty much it on Invest 98L. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications for more updates.